Yeah, so today we're going to be doing uh, a panel with some voice actors from JoJo. And we all know how much uh, I love JoJo. I mean, my room is just slightly JoJo themed. So we're going to be asking them questions. I asked you guys on Twitter to give me some questions uh, to send to the voice actors. Uh, and we're going to just ask them all the answers to the questions you want. Okay. Hi, guys. Are you guys ready? Yeah. So ready, ready to rock. Let's right. yeah. go. Oh, there we are. Hi. Oh, no, Callan died. What oh, happened? Kelly! Oh, there I am. There it comes, good. There I am. All right, we have some wonderful actors here. So I'll introduce them all to you guys, first of all. Uh, we have uh, Philip, is it Reich? 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 It is Reich. Reich? Okay, okay. Oh, that sounds a little sketchy when I pronounce it like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who voices Giorno Giovanna? Uh, we have Mick Laura. Flower. Laura? Oh, I should have, should have done the pronunciation guy <laughs> before I started. Okay. This is a great start of the stream. Who voices Abacchio in part five? And we also have Faye Matter, who I'm, you guys know before, we've uh, streamed with Faye before, but voices Yukako Yamagishi. Yeah, you uh, remember me, I kicked his ass. No, you did not, that was Faye. Sorry. <laughs> End what? of the stream, guys, good stream, guys. Um, <laughs> All right, that was fun. We also have, I no, shouldn't do that. No, you deleted me again for the joke. Callan, I do that. We also have Callan, who voices uh, Diavolo. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you have a TLM 103 <laughs> just as a streaming mic? My I boy do, Ball. I do. I do. <laughs> uh, high life. I also, nice tie. Thank you. It's my JoJo tie. It's my Jono Jono tie. I like it. Um, I like it's it. Fantastic. And we also have Kira Buckland, who voices <laughs> Ren in part four. And Kira died as well. Kira, no, no. So before before we give jump right into the questions, I have, I have a personal question. I'm curious, who was like a huge JoJo fan before they got into JoJo, or are you even all of you JoJo fans? Kira, I, I. You, I think I think the answer is obvious. <laughs> You're okay. Definitely Mick and Kira. Yeah, okay. I don't know about the other yeah, two. two. These two, the yeah. biggest JoJo fans. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Do you do you guys have a favorite JoJo? I mean, I feel feel like the chat should know kind of your taste before we jump right into it. Joseph, I'll just yeah, I love Joseph. I love Joseph. Yeah. All right, okay. Okay. I Kira. like Jolene. So I that. <laughs> I, I, yeah, Jolene's great too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm a little biased, but I'm also gonna have to say Joseph. Okay. <laughs> He's so fun. He, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm Are a Josuke fan. Josuke? Yeah. Okay, 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 got it. That makes sense. I, I mean, all great. Too. You just spend so much time with Joseph. You see him as like this rambunctious, young, yeah. horny kid, and then you see him grow up and to an old, horny man, you know? Like, <laughs> it's just. It's the true you know, Japanese art. Okay, so I, I asked Twitter for a bunch of questions. You know, sometimes you, when you ask Twitter questions, they're not very good. But I will say, I'm proud of you guys. Some of these are pretty good. So someone asks this, I think this is a pretty good question. You've all been voice acting for a very long time. Uh, but Cameron asks, when you get a role on a series as famous as JoJo, do you feel more excited or nervous for voicing the role? Obviously, there's a lot of fan expectations with a series like JoJo. Bill, you go. <laughs> I'm sure you have a great story for this. Right. Oh, man. My, my story, uh, I honestly thought I had no shot at booking Jorno when I auditioned for him. Mm. I thought I had a better shot at Mista, but uh, obviously, <laughs> Sean, Sean plays him perfectly. Uh, so when I got the email saying I booked Jorno, I... I think I literally screamed and almost broke my phone from just like <laughs> freaking out. Your phone? <laughs> oh my gosh, just yeeted it right across the room. Was like, no freaking way! You know, after coming down from that high, it took about like 20 minutes, then realized, oh gosh, there are a lot of JoJo fans. <laughs> and uh, yeah. there's a there's a seven page Muda I gotta do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the seven page Muda was probably the thing I was most excited for when uh, yeah, the part sure. five adaption was happening. So I just wanted to see how they'd handle it, and it was amazing. Any, anyone Else, how were you when you found out that you uh, got a JoJo role? Were you nervous or kind of daunted by the intense JoJo fans? I, I know I cried when I found out. Uh, Believe it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I had because yeah. the, the confirmation email is so short. It's just like a sentence. Yeah, you got it. Nice. It was. <laughs> and I read it so many times. Like I read it like 20 times. I couldn't believe it. It was like the first major role I think I even auditioned for uh, with BZ that I mm. booked anything. Um, mm. That was like the first thing that I booked with them. So I, I didn't think I had a shot at all. In fact, I had a few friends that had sent me their auditions um, and they knew that I love JoJo and whatnot. And it was for the same characters. And I was trying to, you know, give whatever advice I could, um, you know, try to explain the character and whatnot. And like, uh, I cried when I heard you got the role. Oh, you! <laughs> I just oh. know how big of a fan oh. you are. That was yes. so great. Uh, but then, yeah, it was absolutely the pressure afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as we, like right when we got in the booth to start, there was that sinking like, oh, God. oh shit, here we go. Yeah, we have some episodes to do. <laughs> yep. Right, I remember that too. That first day of recording in the studio, that first line is like, "Oh boy." <laughs> I find with JoJo, um, 
being a fan of the series because it's such a weird series I find that it must help quite a lot when you're recording it because a lot of Jojo just flat out doesn't make a lot of sense and, and it's just uh, Araki's crazy ideas just thrown it's at a wall. It's quite bizarre. Gallen, were you nervous or excited for the role? Well, <laughs> I uh, I had been in JoJo before, so you know I, the yeah. the luster of being in JoJo itself had sort of like okay that that was cool. I was uh, Okayasu's dad in uh, Park oh, Four. Awesome. <laughs> wait, <what>? yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> wait, yeah, it's a very intense role. Kira, I asked the others, but uh. Were you, were you more nervous or were you excited to get into JoJo? I think I feel like I know the answer, but I want to hear what you have to say. I've been really into JoJo since about 2013. In fact, um, I'm going to show you guys here. I don't know if it'll show up properly, but... Covered up. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I've been into JoJo for a really long time. Like, you know the memes about that one obnoxious friend who always tries to get you into JoJo? Yeah, like, that's me. Like, I'm fully caught up on the manga. Ouch. You guys can discuss, like, JoJo spoilers with me on Twitter, whatever. I don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I love JoJo. <laughs> what someone else asked on, tw on Twitter, they ask, um, what was the, uh, the line or was there any scenes that you had to re-record over and over again because you just couldn't get it right? Was there any, any of the stick out to you? Maybe the seven page Muda. I don't know how many takes you had to do of that. <laughs> that was a fun one. That one, uh, we did, we did one take of that and it was just right. like, it wasn't like the entire thing because based on the loops, they break it up into each little There's like four sections of it, in I think, there. Yeah. yeah. So they sectionalized it like that. So we did it one time and Tony was like, after each one was like, okay, next one. Okay, next one. We're not going to shred your throat on this one. So just yeah. <laughs> go for it one time. Great. Next one. Great. Next one. And we did it like that. The funny thing for me was actually, I was, I was Yu Yu Fungami in part four. Hmm. And that one we had to do a few times because that was my first time in JoJo. Right. And I started doing some of the Yuya scenes and Tony, our director, is like, he's like, you gotta go bigger. Okay, I'll go bigger. He's like, gotta go bigger. Phil, this is JoJo. You cannot there is no cap on going big enough in JoJo. Go bigger. <laughs> Any uh scenes or lines you to re-record over and over again that you just couldn't quite get right and if so why? I got one. Um right. plenty, uh <laughs> but the one that sticks out was because of me. <laughs> I wanted to make the sound when Diablo is in the uh, infinite loop. I wanted to make that sound perfect. Right. And finally, Tony was like, Kellen, just pick one. We got to move on. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so we settled on what people call the broken carburetor sound. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Did, could, we, could, we get a, could we get a taste of that? Are we allowed to? I think it's like, what the? What the? What the? Kira, <laughs> <laughs> Mick, or Faye, any, any scenes that you st stand out you had to redo a few times? The only one I had was Moody Jazz Let's Jam. Right. Um, because when I saw the lip flaps and when I first saw the script, I was like, what the hell? Because I, I, I thought they were two very different statements. I, I don't know. It just it was bizarre to me because I'm already not saying the Stan's name. I'm saying, you know, the, the localized version. But then on top of that, there's that extra let's jam. And so he kept trying to give me very simple instructions to say both th these things together. But it just didn't compute in my head that Abakio would say let's jam after saying uh, his Stan name. Um, but it ended up, I, I liked it in the end when I finally got it. But that was badass. <laughs> It really did. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded, sounded like a joke you said that. <laughs> Fail Kira, you can't any, help any it. I'm sarcastic. <laughs> Uh, so for me, I think just generally I can be kind of picky about my takes. Right, right. But Tony Oliver is like really, really great about that. The director? Uh, yeah, yeah, the director. Um, if yeah. anything, it's more like I made interjections between lines. <laughs> like, wow, she's actually such a horrible person. <laughs> <Let's talk about laughs> she's like obsessed with she's Koichi. The worst. I love her. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I didn't really comment on the last question, hmm. but uh, oh, I. I personally wasn't a big JoJo fan until I actually recorded, uh, but I was surrounded by people who love JoJo's, mm. Kira included. Like Kira yeah. was yeah. 
like it was very vocal, always I think, about always it. on about it yeah and, and yes <laughs> but i loved it like i mean i i just love it when people are passionate about anything yeah. so i was just like i would like see kira and the way she talks about jojo's and be like god i wish i had a love like that that's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> wish just i could so feel that love <laughs> i want to feel love like that did you watch all uh, of jojo's before was it was it all after? of it beforehand yeah no well anything that i could watch i tried to watch to get like uh an understanding <laughs> just for watching it, it and out that was of a order mist- just like having no idea what the fuck is going yeah. on just- well apparently because like I, I looked through like part one but like th- th- like th- you, these you mean, you they're mean, not the same they're what so you, what different do you, mean you looked through part one what do you mean you look- before i recorded oh you didn't watch anything i watched it yeah, well i didn't watch the whole thing <laughs> Sorry, this you know when you get when right you get <laughs> when you get cast you don't have a lot of time. Look, I straight up told you I was not a fan before I got cast. Right. So I'm when you done. get cast to like actually recording in the booth, you don't have that much time. Uh, true, true, true. The prep. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'll let it slide. Let I it mean, slide. part one's pretty short. You can kind of look, I mean, yeah, part, short. Part, yeah. part one you can do in the you know, Do you, you like part one? Morning. How would you rank them, Connor? How about I ask you a question? Shit, put me on this hot seat here, right? <laughs> rank them. Part seven That's is right. the, my favorite. All the fans are watching. Don't make a mistake here. You're Steel a true fan, right? Steel Ball Run is my favorite. I think yeah. uh, Gyro is just the best man yeah. alive. Um, yep. It's mozzarella. <laughs> I have like I have this really cool Gyro figure actually, where it's like he's on a horse. Sorry, this is like turning into that like kid showing off his toy. So part seven, uh, probably then. I actually really like part two. So part two, so seven to six. four, five, yep. six, and then one probably. And I don't, I don't really like rating <laughs> eight because I feel like it's, it's not fair yet. I don't know. What is your worst and best JoJo part? I want to ask everyone actually, because I'm curious so we can get a feel for everyone's tastes. I think it's a, I have a real soft spot for part four, um, right. but I'm going to have to say seven. Uh, yes. Steel Ball Run is way up there. Yes. And then I know this is some people are going to think this is sacrilege, but I'm not a fan of part eight. Okay. Okay. So you put part eight. And, you and I, the lowest. And I mean, we're, we're in the end game for this one. Yeah. And I feel like there was a lot of build up and there was a lot, there's just so many loose ends and it's just not, I love parts of it. Just like anything, it's like, oh, which thing that you love do you not love the most? You know, I mean, I don't hate part eight as far as all the parts are concerned. You know what? Maybe one, one is the most incomplete as far as I'm concerned because yeah. it is fairly short. It has some great moments, obviously, but it doesn't have nearly as, uh, there's not as much depth, but I would say that part eight in terms of um, where I thought it was going and where it has gone. So unless something changes drastically towards the last few chapters or whatever, I, I at this point can't, I, I gotta say, it's my least favorite. Ooh, strong words, strong words. That. The worst part about being the one friend who has to get everyone into JoJo is that you have to watch part one like a million f-ing times. <laughs> I've watched, I've part, watched it so I've many times. I've watched part one so many f-ing times. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> then, then part three happens and everyone's like, oh, so like, when does it get like really interesting? I'm like, oh, you know, it's like 35, 40 episodes in, you know, so it's uh... <laughs> But there's an orangutan. Four was just really stylish and cool. I just, the story was kind of. All right, well, thank you for joining us, Faye. Appreciate it. Uh, it's been good having you. Um, on my least favorite, I, right. the one I was most bored with was two. Um, right. J- I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, did, am, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, 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 oh, I, I just. Smart. Dad, I'm, I'm curious, to those who, I suppose, recorded part five, how, how did the uh, the pandemic affect recording? And then, because uh, you oh, I think you mentioned earlier that some of it was recorded in the booth, uh, in the studio. I dealt a little bit into that, yeah. And um, some of them were recorded uh, at home. Phil, did you have to do the seven page Muda from home? I feel like you did. I did. That oh, was wow. all recorded oh, at home. <laughs> Your neighbors yeah, was... must love you. Oh gosh, it was, it was so, it was so heartbreaking for me because that, that was something I wanted. I wanted it to be in the booth set up and, and do all nice and, and everything. Yeah, and yeah, you. just finding out like, nope, sorry, we got this quarantine on. You got to do yeah. it from home. And just like Kellen was talking about having issues with bandwidth and dropouts, mm-hmm. you know, I was so worried that, okay, I'm going to have to do this yeah. eight times because we're going to keep losing the internet signal while Bingo. I'm recording. And the, it was the, just horrible. People not, <laughs> not in VO, people not not in VO may not know this, but if the signal is lost or skips at all in the middle of a line, that take is unusable. The, there's no way you can like really connect huh. that and make it sound that way. So we've had to redo stuff just because the internet has uh, oh, no. has screwed up on us. And yeah, you know, it, usually they're screams because it's Joe. <laughs> 
my heart would just, break. I'm curious. Uh, this is a question that came up quite a lot, and uh, uh, this this is quite a, oh, a bit of a toughie. But we all know that the uh, the JoJo fandom sometimes can be a, a little intense. Um, some some might say even annoying or obnoxious. How, how has your experience been with uh, with that at times? I, I think a lot of the chat would be curious to know. And what is st maybe some stuff you've had to deal with from from being a part of JoJo? Honestly, I was bracing myself, but it was very positive. Really, at least for for my parts. That's yeah. good to hear. Uh, I was very surprised. I just got lucky, but or I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm I don't sure know. someone's shitting on my performance somewhere. But oh, is this a, <laughs> this a fandom question? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, gotcha. yeah. One of the hardest parts, I mean, everybody always said like, oh, it's too high or oh, it's too low. You're never going to please everyone. Right, but right. The, the hardest Generally. part for me was I wasn't allowed to acknowledge the name Diavolo for a long time. Right. I had to just keep it boss. And that was tough. <laughs> no. Some of the fandom thought I was just fucking with them or something and they they were like say it say the name and i'm like <laughs> i i couldn't even say i wasn't allowed to at that point so i'm like boss <laughs> nope. jojo merchandise is like the cleanest it's so good yeah. that's why i have so much jojo clothing items <laughs> ellen did you get that watch yes here let me show you oh, you have the watch wait i've watched you got too. the watch yeah Ooh, oh. even the box is nice yeah. so jealous Oh, wow. I, I have the purple haze one because I like the purple. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's legit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of the, the fandom stuff, I've had mostly positive, but two experiences that stood out to me is one, like after the first Toonami promo came out, I got an Instagram message. I just read the opening line and didn't bother reading the rest of it, but it was just like, hi, I'm a JoJo fan. No. I saw you book Giorno. I have some concerns. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. At a some comments and concerns. <laughs> yes. And at, a, at, a, at a convention last year before the quarantine happened, uh, and someone came up like, hey, you're great as Jorno. Your Moodis could use some work, but I love you as Jorno. <laughs> Why you look him dead in the eye and you go, really? No, you know what? I, I like, I like where, I like where you're going with this. Let's go to the booth. Come with me. Come with yeah. Me. yeah. All right. I'm away. finally Take gonna bring it up because usually I block it out, but like. Someone just keeps tweeting at me and I just ignore it every time. How did it feel when you made Koichi piss his pants? <laughs> it was like, it's something, but, but it seems so genuine. Like the way they wrote it, it's just like they really want to know how I felt recording making I mean, Koichi piss his pants. How, how, how did you feel? <laughs> just pictured like a CNN reporter. Yes. Uh, I'm, well, not, I'm kind of curious I'm not now that he brings it up. He's got a good anyone point. On the, on the stand name thing, yeah, 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 uh, it. it didn't occur to me how visceral of a reaction I would have having to officially say localized name. Yes. It fucking, it actually oh. I like, think the one I'm not trying to be mean to the me. writers. Oh. You know, they had to do it. You know, yeah. like, that's their Legally, job. yeah, yeah. I, there's a good question here from someone. Uh, they say, how much did the Japanese VAs influence uh, your work uh, on the characters that you voiced? Did you listen to them a lot before? Did you did you kind of study the original voice or did you kind of just go into it completely blind and do did. your own thing? We listen to them before every line. Yeah, yeah. We, we're right, big right. fans. Right, right. <laughs> I feel like it'd be very bold uh, to be like, you know what, this is good, but no. Let's go with something else. I think I can do it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went a different direction just because I can't sound sexy. That organ doesn't work in my body. I think that's but, a lot. Uh, I think you're being too modest there, Callan. Oh, are you coming on to me, see though? Well, I, um, you know, I, I definitely wanted to capitalize more on the madness of him. Kanishi, I'll just say Kanishi-san. Um, he, he definitely got the power but I wanted to make this guy insane because being scared of your past is already an insane thing. Might as well go all the way. That's just how I felt about it. I think that's really important. And I think that's really good. Uh, I saw I saw this one and uh, I thought this was quite interesting. Honestly, given how quotable and popular the series is, what is one of the least requested or rarest things you've been asked to do or say in the character or just anything? <laughs> is there something weird other than how did it feel to make Koichi piss himself? Other than that, of course. Yeah. I feel like that's a fetish that they haven't realized that they've, they've developed yeah. and they're like, how did it feel? I mean, oh, I got one. Okay, oh, okay. I was say, I'm surprised more people didn't ask me to piss in their tea, but that's about it. <laughs> 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 People just British want health. me to like one. choke them and step on them. And I just, well, that's, I, I think I think that's normal anyway, though. Online, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty standard behavior. <laughs> go ahead, Kira, go ahead. 
Okay, so um, if any of you guys have played the all-star battle game, like uh, I'll start off by saying it's not a line for my character, Raimi, because Raimi's very sweet and innocent, right? So if anyone asks me to say something as Raimi, it's just going to be very like sweet and wholesome and everything. But um, a lot of people, um, because I'm like an unapologetic Jolene fan and I have been for many years, sometimes people would ask me to do Jolene quotes over the years. The baseball scene where it's like a thousand hits or whatever, but they needed to make a joke that sort of like worked in English too. So the localized line that they came up with was balls deep. So I've actually been asked to say that quite a few times. Balls deep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. how, how amazing. <laughs> Mine is actually one of Yuya's lines from part four, mm. which I saw actually did a little run on TikTok for a while, but it's where uh, Yuya is lying in bed and he says the line, if my nose is correct, one of you beauties is on your period. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was like my first introduction to JoJo. And I remember recording that in the booth for the show. And I just look at Tony like, what the hell is this show? <laughs> I don't, I think I blocked that out of my memory, I think. I, do you ever get like recording sessions like, right, so we're gonna meet up at nine? Or oh, I'm thinking like eight maybe just to be yeah. safe. We try. We tried to say, yeah, maybe one thirty. Would that be good? But they're like, nope, ten. I'm like, thinking okay. after breakfast at like five p.m. I don't know if that's doable for you. you know? <laughs> I definitely the sleep schedule's been a problem because ever since I've gotten this booth, I've used it as an excuse to procrastinate until one a.m. to do that screamy right, audition because right, right. no one's going to care. <laughs> but... <laughs> Living in Japan, it's like, all right, do I want to get up at five? I am or that I want to record at 4 a.m. It's like it's I'd stay up to it. It's it's really tragic. I, I mean I feel this is an obligatory question. Do you guys all have a favorite JoJo pose? And did you do any while you were recording? I just know that Mick and I have posed all over Japan. <laughs> did you? <laughs> Wait, which, we did which exaggerated pose, which pose did you do? Or do you mix it up? I don't up? know. We just changed it up. We did our own. <laughs> I like matter. I don't think it's a JoJo pose if it's on your own, Faye. You make it <laughs> We were being JoJo's <laughs> in Japan. Sorry, go ahead, Kellen. I like Koichi's one in Koichi. the intro where he's like, <laughs> yeah. or, or something. Uh, I also like Okiyasu's where he's like half dabbing with his uh, the stand when they mirror. I used so to run um, JoJo panels at different cons right. and stuff like that. And we would always do a posing contest. And the two poses that would usually be most impressive and like those people would end up winning. Um, of course, Naranch's pose, cause that's, you know, <laughs> it takes a lot of uh, <laughs> skill to do, I guess you could say. Yeah. And then um, sometimes we'd have two people come up at the same time and do the Johnny and Gyro pose. And that was always really cool. Oh. Josuke's uh, kind of like look over his shoulder and pop his hip out pose. You know? <laughs> we love that one. That's, that's, uh, that's early onset arthritis pose, I think yeah. actually. <laughs> one of the most underrated poses I think is um, Paul Polnaroff's uh, anti-gravity pointing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he's like right up against like the ground pointing. <laughs> <laughs> that one's actually, impossible to do. Impossible, but I think someone took a picture where they got really darn close. I don't know what they were doing. If they it's were... right before they fell. I mean, I, I'm a simp. I love Dio's, man. Dio's pose is so good. You're a what? I'm a just prime kidding. member. A prime <laughs> member. <laughs> Prime member? Prime member, right? I You're a prime member. <laughs> Someone in chat asked, favorite stand. Do you all, all have a favorite stand? And uh, you can't say your, your own stand of your own character. That's cheating. Killer Queen? Oh, true. That's a good one. What Killer Queen is the... the he's like the coolest, but the stupidest. Because it's just like, and now I've gained a new ability. It's like, for f sake, what? Usually I'm attracted to whichever electric character there is, but I love Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right. I'm a really big fan of Metallica. I always have been. I thought in the manga, especially, he was like way underexposed because we basically just saw him for that one fight yeah. um, happy the anime included more of him and it's just such a brutal fight yeah I, I always really really liked Metallica it's, that's one of my favorite fights in like all of Jojo I really okay. love that fight it's really good you're always reading Jojo and you're just always like how is this getting f weirder what is happening? Yeah, each part gets more bizarre, right? Oh, God. Hey. <laughs> part nine's just going to be all chibi for no reason. I think I'm pretty basic. I like Crazy Diamond. 
right, fairy. All right, Is the diamonds cool? That's a good one. Right, do you want to see your pace, fairy? What was that? <laughs> no, oh, no, no. no. I, I got to regret telling you that. <laughs> Heaven's door is really cool, too. Being able to, like, yes. read everything about someone off their face. I liked uh, Oingo Boingo. I liked the uh, <laughs> the comic book <laughs> telling them what's uh, the future, what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. I love those. They're just so appealingly ugly those art yeah. that art yes style. <laughs> i love that it, I, it's so fun i, I, was, I was talking about jojo to uh, uh just, uh, in front of a friend and they have yeah. no anything and i mentioned <laughs> oingo boingo and they were like what the f is oingo boingo <laughs> Is that, why and then they couldn't they put it in the anime so it just said like brother's book with a big yeah, space. It's so yes. sad. <laughs> uh, since a lot of you guys voice so many characters, how do you maintain a creative balance between them? Like how do you make sure, you know, they don't overlap and uh, you're not doing the same thing? Like in the sure. same series or uh, well, in I guess, general? Cause... I guess in general, because a lot of the time some characters, you know, and some people, depending on, you know, what kind of actor you are, you might have more or less range. How does it work with, uh, keeping track of uh, what voice you gave who. Usually we get a reference. <laughs> yeah, of sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh shit, I did do that. I think yeah. it doesn't matter as much if, uh, you know, you've done a voice before in another series yeah. or yeah. something. In fact, a lot of the times it's it's up to the casting director and the director right. for what they want. And yeah. a casting director might choose you because if they heard a certain voice that you've done in a different series. Right, but but even, even if that's the case, you might have your own idea and you can suggest it right, based right, off right. Uh, any heard or, or research about the character or whatever. And right. every, everyone's process is, di is different, but this is mine. You might take that base that they like and say like, hey, how about this? And then try something and then maybe they'll like that. And then suddenly, okay. I don't know, You'll you be... collaborate to find right, a, right. the voice yeah. of that particular character rather than trying to avoid overlapping with a different character in another mm -hmm. series. You'd be surprised. Right. You'd be surprised if you do it long enough. It sort of just like when you look at them, it becomes, yeah. uh, you just want to look, you just want to sound like what they look like right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's that simple that's <laughs> a great, it's, it's exactly yeah and yeah it usually it just comes up in the subconscious rolodex right. that way i'm curious obviously part one and two of jojo <laughs> Uh, the dub used accents. What do you think about using accents in dubs? Is it, uh, is it tricky? Now, obviously, if someone of British uh, origin, it was quite interesting to hear. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What do you What do you guys think of uh, accents? Do the Is it a thing of uh, especially when you're auditioning? Is it like specifically they say right away, "We want an accent, do an accent," or is it like, "Hey, can you read for this?" By the way, do British, and you're like shitting yourself. Like, how is that going? Like, if you can do the accent, or you're like, yeah, usually side now right they'll say like native speakers only or something <laughs> yeah. like that I have, yeah. I have noticed that at least when british accents are definitely an anime or whatever it's like americans can't really tell that it's not like a british accent and it's always british people who are like i mean yeah but whatever who cares i'm not like furiously drinking tea like <sighs> How dare they? How dare they do this? Um, but, uh, Can I ask everyone a question too at some do. point? Please do, go ahead. So this is something that I've thought a lot about, but I want to hear from you guys. What would your stand name and ability be? I get asked this so often. Like, okay, like in real life where other people do not have stands or everybody has a stand? Or well, kind of like in the JoJo world where there's stand users and the stand users can mm. see other stand users and fight other stand users, but not everybody has a stand. I 100% do like a Daft Punk song. Like, I just, this, the titles are so cool and I love Daft Punk. That's Mine would choice. be Caravan Palace. Oh, oh, nice. And what does your stand do? Uh, so that's a good question. I think I wouldn't want anything too OP. Like, I, I, I think... <laughs> I think How does it work? <laughs> I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to make it up. Look, 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 look. I, because because I would like something like teleportation, but I would also want it to be more interesting. Like maybe you can go to a place. You know that like that like turtle in that one episode in in Golden Wind. Where was it? Just one. Huh? <laughs> oh, true, true, true. The the one where they were like on a train. And then they were all inside a turtle because it was like another world, pretty much. Okay, yeah. okay, it's like, it's like yeah. isekai into another world, and that's the caravan <laughs> palace. But you can exit that world into somewhere else in the world that you choose, and it's like you're teleporting. Kind of like a buff. I just to came the up with that then. now. Just a, a buffed turtle. <laughs> nice. 
I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's a better turtle. <laughs> and not tiny, you know? I know for me, mine would be, um, and this is this is because of what I would do on my Twitch streams. Anytime I'm playing a, a video game on Twitch where there's a car, I always smash it into everything. So <laughs> my, my power would be like bringing it on this car and smashing it into my enemies. And I always Amazing. yell DK, short for Drift King, when I do it. But since it has to be <laughs> an actual like <laughs> music <laughs> reference, I feel like I would... I would make okay, the car rap. be a, a Volkswagen Beetle and call it the power of love. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's, cute. That's tough love. Tough love, exactly. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so awful because um, me and Mick's friend Amin uh, made one for me, but that was so long ago. I can't remember what he did. Oh. And it was so good too. the ability to make portals, but like mass had to be considered for some reason. <laughs> it was like halved or something. I'll have to are ask you, him about it. Are you putting, are you, are you making Jojo physics right now? That's uh, <laughs> yeah. that's a tough thing to play around with. <laughs> <laughs> I dare to be dangerous. Yeah, you know. Everything else can bend around it. I, Mix, I, mixed up bendy. Oh no, that's spicy girl. I, I feel like if I, I had like a time, <laughs> a time warping stand. I'd end up just not realizing how it works and just kill myself in like two minutes by accident, like just chopping. I wouldn't want to control right? time. How do they follow this shit? Like uh, D4C, I'm like, what, how do you, how do you know what's going on? There's no way you know what's going on. But yeah, what what does Daft <laughs> yeah. Punk do? Oh my god, what does it do? That's a good question. I always thought so it'd if you be have really... a time stand, you might have to be a villain. Just saying. I true it's true. true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like I'd have to be a villain. Oh my god, I'd be. I don't know. I really like the idea of being able to like to turn be. music into like physical attacks. Like I think that's cool. Oh, that's fun. Like mm. you can like. The Do you note... play an instrument? No, I can't at all. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why <laughs> I I, see, I'm, I see. I'm like living vicariously through the my makes made Aww. up stand. I think it'd be cool to have a stand, yeah, that can like make music physical, and then it can like it can become like sentient or something. I think that would be cool. Here's a dumb right, here one. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a dumb one. I call it bowling for soup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> stand spawns a bowling ball in my hand uh -huh. and I have to hit wherever I'm pointing at when it spawns <laughs> and if I hit it I get whatever objects I want to replace the bowling ball in my hand. Won't it just smash the object when it makes contact with it though? It's like, I want my phone breaks no, phone. No, 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 it, this is different. I'm point, it, like, say I, it's like, if I can hit uh -huh. that can off of the fence with this, uh -huh. then I get that $10 and it just teleports into my hand. It's, a it's like a stand. bet. Yeah, yeah, it's a betting stand. It's a betting stand. Yeah. There's RNG <laughs> involved. Uh, and the, <laughs> and the bowling ball is full of minestrone. Oh. And it has lips. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you were going to say, like, you had to consume a bowl of soup every single time before you Oh, yeah, that's stand. how I recharge it. I that's... can. I have to drink some minestrone. You never go hungry. There you go. <laughs> you <f> hate soup. <laughs> <laughs> My life would be torture. <laughs> you'd, you'd just be suffering endlessly. <laughs> uh, um, what are you making? Even in my project, there's, you know, there's like 40 stands that people are using. In terms of right. what I personally would actually use, um, I think something that that would be helpful in my life, I, I guess you could call it uh, my share uh, if I could turn back time and it would be time based, but mm. it would be basically like an undo button. So an event could occur and I would have a window a little bit like the um, Crazy diamond. Yeah, it, it, and even a little bit like that, but not really, because if anything, it's just the event did not occur. We go back, you know, one second or whatever to the moment prior. And I only say that because like I undo a lot, like when I'm drawing and I eat up mm. the time when I'm doing that. But if I could literally just every single time that happened, undo it until I do it right the first time, then I could just add up all those seconds. And, and even if I said something or did something silly, which sometimes happens, that I could just like undo it. We'll call it Control Z. Yeah. <laughs> what about what about you, Kira? What would your stand uh, what would it be? So my stand is named Insomniac after a Green Day album. And you guys are going to laugh at the ability if you don't know about it. Um, <laughs> I know because, about it. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people are like, how is that going to help? Right. But um, it can turn any liquid substance into coffee. So it sounds silly, right? Like you just want to drink more coffee. I can turn my opponent's blood into coffee. I could, um, you know, splash hot coffee on my opponents. It would be great. A water yeah, bender, right. but with coffee. That'd be yeah. a really yeah. brutal way to watch if someone 
someone die if you turn their blood to hot coffee, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that would suck. So, um, um, Amin, uh, shout out to Sweet Bean Amin on Twitch, um, mm. actually just uh, DM'd me uh, the stand that he made for me because he put a oh, lot awesome, of thought awesome. into it. So I want to do it justice if I can. Right. Um, it's called Reeling in the Years, and it can manifest holes that lead into a small pocket dimension. The stand hides itself as well as anything the user throws into these holes and even the stand user themselves. Time moves slower in the holes by 0.3 times our time, so the stand is relatively invincible unless it tried to attack or any hole opens and the strategy to defeat it is to throw a burning or explosive item into the hole to smoke it out its range is 30 meters it's a tactical Whoa. stand <laughs> its strength is the same as the users and not many know what the stand this actually looks so like. well <laughs> now you out. see why i wanted to do it justice yeah, he put, you could so much actually into put it. <laughs> this into a game or something yeah, yes, he put so much thought into it so Rocky's love Luke's you and me that, that was a good one <laughs> you know obviously uh it's quite a while away but let's say if everyone had the you were given a blank slate you were allowed to voice anyone you wanted in part six of the anime which character would you go for i think kira i think uh i think i can guess uh <laughs> kira for poochie kira, yeah, kira for poochie yeah what about you guys i really hope this isn't like jinxing shit you know oh, yeah. or maybe i can say it as like what's a character you think would be fun to voice Okay. Yeah, sure. That's better. Uh, in part six. Um, yeah. A lot of people want me to voice Anna Sui, and I couldn't tell you why. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it's because he looks exactly like Diablo. I, but, want, um, I want you to be deformed <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Callum. I, I want to be the green baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be the green baby so bad. <laughs> you know, honestly, like as cool as you know, weather reports an obvious cool one to be, but I, I would say, um, honestly, it would be very fun to voice a character like Sports Max. I think that would be a, a, a pretty fun character to voice. It's a very um, interesting stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if people aren't familiar or remember, he's the one that has like the zombie animal invisible things that come to life and eat shit. <laughs> I mean, <Eat> shit. <laughs> uh, what about you, uh, Philip? Well, my knowledge of Part Six is pretty limited because I haven't oh, read it yet. Cool. I only know characters based off of playing Eyes of Heaven. Uh, so for me, I would love to voice Weather Report. I think that was a really yeah, fun weather character. Weather Report's badass. <laughs> yeah. You know what would be funny is we do get to meet Dio's other sons in Part Six. Oh, so yeah. you know, you already got one Dio kid. <laughs> I mean, this could be this could be a Sonic Underground thing where you voice all of Sonic's kids too. Yes. Those are like, Sign me up. Those are like the weirdest <laughs> what, Mick? ever. <laughs> Oh, no, I was just saying, all the kids are stupid and great. And especially, I forgot his name, but he's the one that has the um, the, the invisible flying dildo things as his power. That, like, I don't remember. The pressure apparently gives you the bends. Once they get to the ground, like, he's just such a wimp. He's dressed like a cow. He has, like, a uh, Yeah, like I a know, cow. I know the one. It's, like, the weirdest <laughs> like a cow. battle yeah. in JoJo. It's like, yeah. oh, now we're fighting his sons. Why? I don't know. We're just fighting them. It's, like, such a, like, Wikipedia fight. Like, yeah. there's something. Yeah. Like Rocky found some interesting noodle of information somewhere. <laughs> like, yeah. Put that in. Put that in. I would also uh, like to be considered for Thunder McQueen, but I will only do an Owen Wilson impression for him. <laughs> <laughs> How fitting. Yes. What about what are you, Faye? I, I would like to be Dio. Uh, I think, well, he does say, what are you going to do, piss your pants? So that's, um, uh, you've already got the training for that, Very I think. fitting. Well, she doesn't actually say that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. I know, I yeah. know. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. I'm sorry, Faye, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> I, I, Kira, obviously, I wonder, I wonder who, who would you like to voice? Or who would, who would be fun to voice? No, who would be fun to voice? I have a feeling I don't know. I, I mean, let's just say I've been practicing my auras for like <laughs> six years now. <laughs> All right, uh, best of luck. I think a lot of us are hoping for it. Yeah. We'll see. I hope. I be honored to get to try. Yeah, well, uh, I guess right uh, for now, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, sure. I really hope you guys had fun. Uh, yeah, and absolutely. you can find all of these lovely people on their own respective uh, Twitch channels and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll uh, hopefully get to do this again in future as well. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I uh, hope you guys have a good day and sure. hopefully we get to do this again soon. Yeah.